ejaculating often could cut risk of cancer, oh, according now to science. Oh, something Greg's interested mm -hmm. in. <laughs> Researchers from Harvard and Boston universities found that men who have an orgasm 21 times per month are less likely to develop prostate cancer. The study, published in the journal the European Urology, saw scientists comb through data of more than 31,925 men who tallied their average monthly number of ejaculations from 1992 to 2010. A connection between having an orgasm and prostate cancer has long baffled scientists, with diet and other lifestyle factors thought to play a role in how and why cancer develops in certain people. Scientists say more research needs to be done, but in the meantime, it's safe to say that one more orgasm really won't hurt. You know, the only thing I could think of as I hear this is that as a researcher, to hear these people at Harvard or whatever kind of studying this, and now next time we hear someone say that they're doing, you know, uh, they're trying to solve cancer, <laughs> we kind of think about the real work they're doing, which is <laughs> God's work. Yes, God's I agree. Work. God's work. Mm -hmm. As a fellow researcher, is there like a Dropbox with all of these uh, contacts, and these <laughs> records, you know, just for research? Uh, when, I, when I heard this report, I thought, wait, 21 times? Oh, check. I'm A-OK. -okay. No problem. And that's why all the gay boys in Wilton Manors have the most pristine prostate. <laughs> <laughs> See? I told you so. Stop complaining. <laughs> pristine Were you prostate. talking to your hand? I was. Oh, Manuela. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.